beautiful morning. It's actually kind of chilly outside. It's 7.38 and I got my cup of coffee. And you already know, I'm gonna do my Bible time. Every morning for me has pretty much been like this for like a year now, unless I'm like gone somewhere or something like that. But this is how I like to start my mornings, on my deck with a cup of coffee and with Jesus. So I'm gonna get started with my journaling. I love journaling, so. Y'all, this is what the end of my Bible time usually looks like. I just finished 1 Samuel chapter 15. It talked about um, Saul being king and how Samuel told Saul to go and attack Amalek and put him under the ban and everything else. Like So put away all the children and infants and oxen and sheep. But Saul actually kept the best of the fat sheep and oxen and lambs and stuff like that. Um, he kept what was good use to him, even though God told him not to do that. And he did kind of what was selfish. Saul is was very selfish and did what was you know pleasing to the people, did what was pleasing to him, um, instead of following the Lord in obedience. And it says, does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obedience to the Lord's command? Obedience is better than sacrifice, to listen better than the fat of rams. Um, so it's just kind of talking obviously about obedience and how important that is because God knows what's best for us. We do not know what's best for us. You know, the reason God calls us to obedience and calls us to following the commands is because that's what will lead to life, eternal life, and that's what leads to joy. Even though it's hard and in the moment we want to do it, in the long run, it's what's best for us because God sees everything, God knows everything. So we have to follow his command and follow his wisdom and love. <laughs> my sisters and then I'm wearing some green free people way home shorts and I'm about to put on my Asics tennis shoes go for a little run slash walk and then after that I'm gonna go to the pool and you know refresh my body it's actually really nice out though so I don't even know if I'll be I don't know obviously I'm gonna sweat a bit but it's really nice out it's honestly kind of chilly so yeah Hi you guys, I'm back from my run. I'm feeling sweaty, I did three miles and it's 9.43 now. Gotta hydrate because my gosh. So I'm gonna go to the pool for like 30 minutes and just take a little nice swim, relax, because wow, that was a hard one. Just today the water is just so pretty because the sun's shining on it so it's just like oh, it's just like literally just beautiful ocean water i love it so much morning swims are definitely my favorite i love and i'm so grateful that i have a neighborhood pool that i can just go bike down to search for a morning swim hi guys so i'm back from the pool it's currently 10 56 so it is pretty late but i'm having my breakfast now because i'm finally i'm really hungry so i'm so excited i'm gonna make some avocado toast for the fried egg i've been making this lately and it is so good. this beautiful avocado toast. I'm so excited. Get a little fried egg on it. Let's give it a try. This is big. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
And that is my morning routine, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to go on with the rest of my day. I'm probably gonna go back to the pool, honestly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just keep in mind, not every morning is like this. Sometimes I just do my Bible time and then go to the pool. But this morning I felt like just waking up and being a bit more productive. And I definitely wanna start doing this more routine now because it was amazing. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God loves you so, so, so much you can't even imagine. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Deuces! But I guess ducks can be deceiving in the spaces we call love. Won't have a fade away but to